So let's just look at the world hemispherically. So if I take the globe and open it up in a view that most people are used to seeing with the United States, Canada, Mexico, South America to the west and Europe, Asia, Africa to the east, that's a common view. It's kind of a Eurocentric view. So the prime meridian or the starting point this arrow start is it yeah goes right through Greenwich England and through that western bulge of Africa so that would be your zero the prime meridian and no matter how I look at the world that line of longitude is always the prime meridian so I could shift the world a little bit uh, move the globe around but that line is doesn't move the prime meridian stays right there basically the prime meridian may not always be in the middle of your map depending on your orientation the equator is the line that runs kind of under that western uh, bulge of Africa and that is the starting point or the zero degree line so let's mark these two So now what I have is a northern and a southern hemisphere and an eastern and a western hem hemisphere. So if I want to identify the general location for the United States, it would be identified as in the northwest Chile would be in the southwest, Australia would be in the southeast, and China would be in the northeast. So if you were writing down coordinates, anything in this quarter would be in the north and the east, and both of these uh, could be identified um, with, uh, well, I'll show you that in a minute, okay. Uh, in this, these, this quadrant, this would be in the northwest, and sometimes this is identified with um, a positive symbol and a negative symbol. And this could be identified with a positive symbol and another positive symbol. So this quadrant would be the southwest and again the southern symbol quadrant would have a negative and the western hemisphere would have a negative. And this one would be the southeast negative for the southern hemisphere and a positive for the eastern hemisphere. So you need to be able to identify which quadrant, uh, the northwest quadrant or the positive negative quadrant um, the United States is in or I might ask you which quadrant is New Zealand in and I will point to New Zealand so you would just be able to identify that quadrant.